candy. Surprise! Surprise! surprise. Allie doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Go figure. Oh my gosh. You know what? We need to start going live like five minutes before we actually start going live. Are we live right now? No, yeah, we're live right now. I know I have a potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, party fell. Everyone. What's Sorry. up, guys? Anybody like my new cup? What is it? Oh, that's the McDonald's one? Hamburglar. Cool. That's cool. What is going on, everybody? As always, please let us know in the chat. Let us know if you can see us and hear us okay, because we don't know until you say yes. Right. I'm going to bring you guys in for the Ooh, win right here. Let's get serious, y'all. Real talk. What's up, everybody? Let us know where you're all from. We like to know where you're watching from. Howdy. Howdy, Dean, Misty, Stan, Reseller King. What? I thought that was me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Candace? All right, cool. We're good. Damn, block that Ben person in the chat. Ben's in the chat. How <laughs> do you get a wrench? Ben's right there. Ben's, <laughs> Ben's in town today helping us out, or this week, really. But Casey what's Lauder, up, everybody? What up, girl? Let's take a quick look at this. From all over the place. Oh, wow. Oh, a hundred and really needs to be. You turned it already, though, right? 36 people. Coconut yeah, I got Creek. It. Where's Coconut Creek? Florida. Well, yeah, yeah I see there. South? South? More. South? South? There. Is that better? Centered now. All right. It? Yeah. My OCD can't handle it. What? There we go. Yeah, that is centered now. What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday to you. Did you guys all get Happy your to your you. weekend sale shift? Callie, did we get our weekend Ooh, sale shift? Lots of stuff so going on today. Sales. Nice. So many things. We'll give some more people a chance to get into the chat, but this chat we're going to be talking about what the title says. Something that I feel, we can say like what we all feel, but something that I feel mm -hmm. you must do if you want to be a successful online seller. It's something that you just have to do. And I think it's important because most people who become resellers, especially full-time resellers, most of those people come from uh, hourly or salaried positions and then they start reselling. Most people don't like own a business and then they're like, the next business I want to start is reselling. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's important to talk about a few different things. But okay. until then, guys, whatever questions you have, slap them in the chat and we'll slap do it. it. <laughs> slap slap it in the bag. Smack and, it. And make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us too. We'd appreciate it. <clears throat> the one that looks like this. Yes. Oh, that's a good question, Riley Where? Boy. Do you ever buy things from your subs fans? All the time. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. There's a couple things that came today. <laughs> yeah, I'm like constantly buying stuff. A lot of it is on Instagram. Like if, if I see somebody post something on Instagram, it's really cool. I'll reach out to them and, and see if they want to sell it. Um, yeah, we got a, a Tommy Hilfiger golf bag. If you go to yeah. our Instagram, you can see that. It's in the Instagram story. Um, but we got a Tommy Hilfiger golf. That was from a, a subscriber. Um, this weekend, which we're, we're going to be making a video on it, this past weekend, we did a full store inventory buyout. It was like $6,400 plus shipping, it's and true. we bought we bought pallets. thousands. Yeah, it's two pallets worth of stuff. So <clears throat> that's going to be really cool. But yeah, we always do. Oh, and yes, also, so a lot of people I see in the chat are going to be in our mentoring program, which starts Friday. Exciting. Super excited to work with all the new people. Um, you should have all got emails from us with a survey for you to fill out, but we're very excited to start that. All right. What's going Andy, on? Andy Nash says, how often do you go to thrift stores? That's a good question, Ooh, too. Ryan went today. I did go today. <laughs> See, the credit card alerts me. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, yeah. I know exactly how much you spent and what time you left. You know what's funny? I was not going to go today because we've got all this stuff coming. And then um, two pallets worth. I have a, I have like a, a list of daily tasks that I go through on my phone and I completed the one task like fast. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to add Goodwill trip into my list. There you go. So I had to do it. Maximize. I had to go do it. And I found some really good stuff. I found a Harley Davidson leather jacket, a woman's one. Um, I found a Pendleton coat. No, I didn't see it. No proof. Is a hundred percent wool. Like one of those blazer ones. No looks like, a, looks like a Christmas present. Um, and I found some Salvatore Ferragamo shoes. Ooh, nice. Really good ones. stuff. Yeah. And then I nice. found these things called shark bands, B-A-N-Z, which are like shark repellent things. You wear it on your ankle and it repels sharks, what? apparently. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Everyone likes my SpongeBob shirt. Someone That's said it SpongeBob, looks like Easter Lisa here. Frank collab. So sick. Yeah. Right. 
There's All right. Weird hair in it. We have 436 people watching. Guys, please hit the thumbs up button for us. We appreciate it. And we will get going into the, uh, the, the topic of the night. The topic of the night. Which, night. Should we like go person by person and see what our answers are? Yes. All right, cool. So, oh, Scott. Scott with the first super chat of the night. Thank Lyndon you, Scott. Lyndon Felser. Scott, Scott should win a hat for sending the first super chat of the night. Scotty don't. Scott, put our email address in the chat, and then oh, really? Scott, you get a hat. Send it. Send us your address to Oops. this email address. Sorry. And uh, we'll send you a hat for being the first super chat. Nice. Yeah. I like that. So the question of the video is what you know what is the one thing that you must do in order to be a successful online seller? And Callie, what do you think? Johnny on the spot. Um, positivity. That's a good answer. I think you do have to be positive to, because you know, there's definitely some ups and downs yeah. in this business. So. You got to be able to stay positive and roll with the punches and For be sure. okay with change. I like that one. That's a really good one, actually. Thanks. On what the spot, I figured it out. So, what are like some ways to like stay positive and stay motivated? How about that? Work with awesome people. Um, Surround yourself with awesome people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think one important thing. <laughs> one important thing with that is that because there's a lot of really good reselling videos on YouTube, um, but I feel like a lot of them are kind of negative. So I think that one important thing to stay positive is to make sure that you're watching positive videos or looking yeah. at positive content instead of dwelling on the negative. You need a positive so, influence. You need a positive influence, and that's why like our theme throughout our channel we try to stay positive we'll address the negative stuff but we always bring it back to positivity because that's the way that we like to live our lives well platitude have a champagne room in the office Ooh, I like that one. Champagne <laughs> one with our stay all right ali what would yours be <laughs> things you must do if you want to be successful Hmm. If you oh, want to be successful, Colorado text. Thank text. Colorado text. Thank you for the four ninety nine super chat. Thank you for all the help. You're very welcome. I'm gonna say work life balance. It's Ooh. all about you have to have really enough one. time for yourself personally, mm -hmm. but also you you have to work. Like you can't say I'm gonna resell and only work three hours a day, mm -hmm. and then why isn't anything selling? You know, yeah. you have to have a good balance. If you're making equal amounts, it, let's say you just want to work six hours and you don't care if you're taking a price cut, that's fine, you know. Right. But you you just you have to have that work life balance. You have to know what your goals are and what you want to meet, mm -hmm. and you have to meet them so that you're happy and that you continue to do what you're doing because you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're you run out of money, right? right. Or where you run out of steam, where you're working too much, right? For working sure. too little, working too much. Both That's a really good shoot one. Shoot yourself in the foot that way. So you just have to be really, really careful. Hustle Millennial. Thank you for the $5. You guys have inspired us to start our journey selling and vlogging. Oh, awesome. What are your awesome. thoughts on the effect of solid morning routine? Discipline equals key. Perfect. I think that goes along exactly well with what Ali was saying. Um, I think that one cool thing that I like to do when we're like really focusing up or when we have like certain tasks we want to hit is I'll do, a, like I was saying earlier, a list on my phone. I do that the night before so that mm -hmm. I plan ahead for the next day and I know what things I want to complete the following day. You can always add and adjust it in the next day, but it's cool. To, it's good to plan your day out the night before so that you right. can knock those things out. And sometimes like, because I know those tasks are, are happening the next day, I'll wake up excited because I'm ready to go and like knock that. out those tasks. You're icky guy. <clears throat> icky guy, yeah. I have to turn the air purifier off. Okay. But yeah, work-life balance, I think is a really good one, babe. Good job. Yeah. And Ashley Bird, thank you for the $2 super chat. How do you keep inventory organized, know what you have? That's a good question. Um, there's softwares that can do it for you, like Inventory Lab um, is a software that you can use to do that. If you're not using a software, you can do like an Excel sheet, or you can mm -hmm. just make sure that you're listing everything that you get and then putting it into like a bin system. That's what we do. We put it into like a labeled A, B, C, D, all the way through the <laughs> alphabet, and then B, B, C, C, D, you know what I mean? So you can do it that way. And then once the bin is uh, getting to a point where it's starting to be empty, you can grab that bin and redo it again, inventory that way. But we, all, we also, for inventory, we like to do like almost like a spring cleaning type thing where every once in a while we take all of our inventory, go through the bins, because sometimes there'll be stuff that isn't that. listed anymore. A lot of times. A lot of the time every there'll time. be stuff, yeah. 100% of the time there's stuff that just disappears. Yeah, so it's good to go back and look through um, your old inventory. 
<clears throat> Goku wins in a fight. And what? <laughs> Goku, Goku and Superman? Mighty Mouse. Oh, Mighty Mouse, definitely Goku. <laughs> ben, do you have an answer for this? Thing you must do to be successful? Probably consistency. Consistency? That's a really good one. You mean like listing every single day? Or if you're not listing something every single day, tweaking your titles, tweaking your prices? Just staying active, like constantly doing something. Staying mm -hmm. active. Always going and like thrifting as much as you can if you're out of inventory. Yeah. Dawn South TV, thank you for the $4.99 super chat. If you guys have an item you're trying to remove a sticker on and it starts tearing the box, what do you all do? Good question. Goo gone. Really good question. Or a blow dryer. <clears throat> yep. That was going to be the answer. You can use Goo Gone to get it off, or if you hit it with a, a blow dryer, like a heat gun, yeah. that'll loosen the glue up underneath and you can peel it off. There's also this really neat product called a Scotty Peeler. They're really cheap on Amazon, and it's just a little like almost like a razor blade type thing that really gets under the labels. Yeah. It's a good good thing to use. Who buddy wants it? Thanks for the two ninety nine. Do you use allow buyers to be anonymous on list? Allow buyers to be anonymous on this. Like check that box. I don't no. check that box. Mm -mm. No, we never use that. Carmen Fink has a question. What is a question? Can I post the same product on Amazon and eBay at the same time? Um. Yeah. So cross posting. Yeah. Lots of people do it. Yeah, you can definitely do that. It just becomes an issue when you sell it on eBay and then also sell it on Amazon and you only have one of them. So you just want to make sure that you're managing your inventory really well. And again, there's software that can do that. Um, but if you're cross posting, same thing with like Poshmark and eBay, a lot of people cross post their stuff to Poshmark and, and on eBay, and they only have one of the item. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's happened where something will sell on Poshmark and then it'll also sell on eBay. And then, you know, you're shipping it on Posh or taking a ding on eBay and that can hurt your account. So you want to be careful about as soon as something sells, like getting rid of it on the other account. Yeah. I don't know why the light keeps going in and out like that, but sorry about that. I guys. don't know either. Yeah. I've noticed it, but yeah, it is what it is. I think it's <laughs> when you lean in or lean back. Is it? Yeah, lean back. Watch what happens. <laughs> Nothing. <That was> wrong. <laughs> Your theory is wrong. Oh, Chuck wins. So now my reason, the, the one thing I think that you must do in order to be a successful or to be successful as an online seller. What's he going to say? Do you <laughs> know, Callie? I'll then know. And again, <laughs> and again, going back to what I was saying at the beginning of this video, which is most resellers go from a nine to five, a salaried position or an hourly position before they start reselling full time. So <clears throat> I think most people are used to having a boss to be accountable to. And now you're going into your own business mm -hmm. and you have to be accountable yourself. So I think the main thing that you must do in order to be successful is hold yourself accountable. And if you can't hold yourself accountable, because there's a lot of people, I'm, I'm the type of person who in certain situations I can hold myself accountable, but in other situations I'm terrible at it. Like working out, for example, I, I'm not the type, I've always been like on a team, I've always had a coach. So I'm not good at just like getting motivated and going for a run. I need a set schedule and I need somebody saying, you got to do this, right? You got to you got to get out and make sure that you're doing these workouts. So if you don't, that's why mentoring is a good thing, because if you're not accountable to yourself, you can have somebody like us to hold you accountable in your reselling business. So I think that um, that's that's my reasoning behind or the one thing that I think that you must do in order to be successful online is hold yourself accountable. Yeah. I think for most people, that's where they yeah. probably <laughs> lose their lose their feet. You yeah, know? for sure. Feet. Did you lose your feet? Flipping Daily says, I fired myself three times. I didn't. Mark, Alan, thank you for the 199. Just joined Mentoring Program. Very that's excited. Good. Awesome. Nice. That's awesome. We're excited to work with you. Rally Roots Bandanas. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Oh, Hustle Millennial is in the Mentoring Program, too. That's awesome. Yes, this mm. week I'm pricing out reusable bags. I'm doing that this week. Oh, the tote bags, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carol Barr, thank you for the five dollars. Just wanted to thank you for all the videos, inspiration, and always positive. Well, oh, thank you yay. very much. We appreciate that. Um, Brian says I found my first pair of Keen sandals to resell. Nice. Awesome. Uh, and Crystal asked if we buy kids' clothing, and we don't unless you can get it for crazy cheap and sell it in lots. Yeah. I mean, we the only couple of kids items we've purchased were like Burberry uh -huh. for kids. Um, and 
I don't even recall anything else kid clothing wise that we've bought. We'll buy just Burberry. Yeah, we'll buy the higher end brands, yeah. um, but we don't deal much in kids clothing just because it doesn't sell for a lot of money. If you are going to deal in kids clothing, like Ali said, the best thing to do with it is to lot it up into like same sizes, different different styles, um, and sell it that way so it sells for more money. And just make sure that you are buying it really cheap because if you're lotting, it's going to be expensive to ship because it's going to be heavy yeah. and you're not going to be getting as much money per piece. Yeah. Emily has a question. What up, Emily? Get it. How do you handle your eBay messages? Delete after reading? Save certain ones in folders? Oh, man. Um, we kind of just talked about this. We just <laughs> talked about it. All the messages from eBay, like offers, this and that, we delete all of those. But the yeah. messages from buyers, we save all of them for up to like six months just in case yep. anything happened. We never delete messages from buyers. And that's just sure. the way it is. Unless it's like they ask us a question and we answer their question. It was like an easy. Right. Is thing. there a way that you can like drag them to a different folder? Like, yeah, you can sort them. them. Just, you can organize. Yeah. Them. Sweet. Zero mind. Thank you for the $2. Uh, do we recommend going to eBay open? Good question. Concierge yeah. is almost worth it. You know, that's true. It is Get quite expensive. Concierge. Yeah. Do you get um, it just by going? The yeah. Last, well, no, the last two years last you have. Or the last they few might years, change you have, that, but they might not give it to you. Um, I would say that if you've never been before, I would absolutely recommend going to it. If you've been before, it's kind of repetitive, um, so you're you're really going to make connections with people. It's not so much about like the information that you learn there. Although the information is good, it can be good. A lot of it is very repetitive, and a lot of it is stuff that you can just find on YouTube. Um, but I think going for the connections and meeting people in person and make and developing those relationships, I think that's the good reason to go to eBay Open. Yeah, we're not sure if we're going again this year or not. <clears throat> we're still deciding, but yeah, you know. Yeah, the one, the main reason why you should go to eBay Open is to meet Lauren Cole City Lit. Yes, <laughs> she's awesome. Now so the, I should go. You should go. You should sure. go. The friendship and like the relationships that you develop at eBay Open. That's that's the reason to go. Not to, although you do learn stuff too. You can learn a lot. <laughs> uh, Dennis, Denise, Denise Lovato, Lovato. 67. There we go. Thank you for the $10. Excited to be in your mentoring group. I've learned so much from you guys already. Can't wait to start. Awesome. Ooh, it's exciting. We we've, have students in the chat. Yeah. We've just started. We just sent out surveys today, surveying all our mentoring students. And one of the questions is pizza or tacos which is the lifelong debate, right? Which is I better, still, pizza or tacos? I mean, I have a kitty space shirt. I want to say that it's still like, it's really close, 50-50. Pizza or tacos? I think pizza is like edging it out at this point. Mm. But yeah. Isn't, um, isn't maybe the light not as high as normal? I don't know, maybe. Hey, Ben, can you move the light closer to us, maybe? I feel like when you put your hands up. It, yeah. Yeah, light going in and out is very weird. It Sorry, really guys. Cool. Is Move it, it closer. See, Check look, people out. all the people are saying tacos. tacos Bring it closer. Life. That's a bit better, I think. We'll leave it there for now. Maybe it's the camera. I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, Billabong, yes or no? Usually no, unless it's something like a, a jacket or something like that, or like a rare piece of um, like a bathing suit. <clears throat> I sold an old Billabong bathing suit that was mine for like, for more than what I paid for it. That was so weird. A few years later. Yeah. So. What about old Pokemon uh, cards? Uh, some of them are good still. Charizard? Yeah. Char the holographic Charizard? Yeah. I think that's still worth money. <laughs> that's the only one I know. Look, someone said they don't like pizza or tacos. Oh. I've never met that person in real life. It's that person <laughs> that doesn't like either. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hamburgers yeah hamburgers are good too yeah bathing suits are great now summer is coming everybody so remember find items that are great for summer oh yeah people are gonna buy lots of summer things like golfing items mm -hmm. outdoors items you know warmer clothes items bathing suits stuff like that keep your keep your eyes peeled tony says ryan if i buy wholesale do i need any special license to sell it on ebay uh no you don't. Anybody can sell on eBay. You don't need like a special license. You you want to check like in your state and county if you need any licenses to be a reseller to, to buy and sell stuff. Uh, and then you you do need licenses for like sales tax exemption and stuff like that. Your reseller certificate. But to sell on eBay, you don't need anything. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no tattoos on my neck or face. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a SoundCloud rapper. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> or Post Malone. 
Camping and fishing stuff. Yes, keep your eyes open for that. <laughs> yeah, fishing stuff actually sells sells very well. I wonder if you sit up straight, if it's the light behind your head. Now lean forward. How's that? Duck your yeah, head down. So don't duck I'll just sit up really so straight. Don't because there's like oh. this here. That's the reason. Oh. The reflection I just on need the to Ryan's not, fall. I need for to not slacken. Sit up. Sorry. Just take Pikachu down. Take her down. Take the him? Pikachu down. How's the, the new warehouse out. going? Haven't heard much. Heard murmur? Haven't heard much about it. Uh, it's still there. It's still land. It hasn't been built yet. Still going through stuff. It's taken a lot longer than we expected, but we'll get there for sure. Whoa! Whoa. JD budget Whoa. breaks. Thanks, JD. Breaking the chat. It's a fifty dollars super chat. Wow. Thanks very much for everything you guys do for all. <clears throat> For all of us, wish I could have made it into mentoring before selling out. Here's a donation tip towards the cause, though. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Wow, that's awesome. That. Thank you. Um, my shoulders actually feeling much better. Look, I can do this, and I can do this, and I can do this. I worked out. I lifted for the first time today, this morning. Um, I went really light, really lightweight, and it did hurt, um, but I'm rebuilding the muscle in there or whatever, the tendon. Yeah, physical therapy, basically. <laughs> Pretty much what's physical therapy. Right now. But I feel a thousand times better. No, uh, we never got the MRI, but you said, eh, pass, because all an MRI would have said is, oh, go do physical therapy. Pretty much. That's yeah. it. That's all that would have happened. So we were like, may as well just start using it. <laughs> Can you dab? No. Oh. <laughs> um, Shoni says, why aren't you reselling phones? Uh, we do resell phones, just higher end ones like iPhones and stuff and, you know, Galaxy and that. Uh, the, the reason why we don't like go full force into reselling phones is one, it's the most, it's the, the, it's the category on eBay with the most scams, first of all. So it's, there are a lot more scams and like returns and stuff with phones on eBay. Um, and then the other reason is because you can't really, or we can't really buy phones in bulk or not enough bulk to make a good margin on. So we like to buy, most of our money comes from buying wholesale and then breaking it up and reselling it on either one item at a time or in other lots. Uh, so buying phones, I would love to be able to buy a thousand iPhones and make enough money on each one of them. Right. But it doesn't make sense. We're not able to do that. So there's just not enough money. And then a $5 super chat from Brian. We can. You want to read it? Go for it. Okay. Thrift store by me has one color tag for a dollar all week. Bought a complete golf set with bag Whoa. for a dollar yesterday and like new night golf shoes for one dollar quick what? what's the name of the thrift store and where yeah you... <laughs> that's insane yeah. that's awesome that's amazing nike golf is out of business stuff sells great yep i didn't know that yeah nike's not making golf stuff anymore well thanks. sorry tiger woods i like this question from b apostolic ali after unicorns what will you be into dragon ball z i always love dragon ah. ball z. i just got myself a long sleeve dragon ball z oh, shirt yeah. yesterday that's true. from tj max. max i'm so excited i should show everyone at the end of the show that's another question that we get often is do we source from retail do we go to like tj max and marshall's and buy stuff from there and the answer is yes we do um, a lot of the time yeah. we we won't show the item on our YouTube channel until it sells just because we don't want the market to get flooded. It's different with like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff because they all sell the same items throughout, pretty much the same items yeah. throughout America. Whereas thrift stores, it's different stuff at each store, right? So we don't want to flood the market and burn mm -hmm. the prices for everybody else. So sometimes we we won't put those items out until they've already like sold. We worried about that with the Uggs, but we knew we could return them no problem back to Costco. Yeah, so. and they've been selling great. They've been selling great. The price dropped after <laughs> Posted that video, but it's okay. All right. You're reading things. How are you guys still able to sell t-shirts for fifteen to twenty dollars with the new postage? Those margins, those margins be shrinking. <laughs> um, so first of all, we typically don't sell t-shirts for fifteen to twenty dollars. Um, our average sales price across the board is over thirty dollars. So we like our average sales price to be around forty bucks. Um, so the answer is buy better t-shirts. If you want to be in t-shirts, try to buy like the either the vintage ones that are really desirable that you can get $40 plus for or the higher end ones that are also more desirable and you can get more money for. Or here's a trick. Lock them up. Yes. Instead of selling one polo t-shirt, sell three together. So now you're getting a higher ASP. Every once in a while, we'll sell a shirt that only goes for what, like $23 to $25 sure. because the shirt's really cool. And yeah. Ryan's like, I just I have to buy yeah. this. 
or Ryan knows that when we list that shirt because it's It'll really fast, fast. It'll yeah. sell within like yeah. three days. And there's a lot of cases where right. they sell within the first 24 yeah. hours because we'll you called it. it. Even though it's lower, it's, yeah. it's a fast We'll sale. sell like regular Harley shirts. We'll usually get like 18 to 20 bucks for. Um, but usually we're only paying, you know, less than five dollars for that for those shirts so even after shipping let's say we sell a shirt for twenty dollars um shipping on it is five bucks fees another what like three dollars and then cost of goods so you're still making like eight bucks not not super bad but yeah, yeah. if you're doing that you want to have other items that are selling for a lot more money to bring your average sales price back up and if we find a really obnoxious affliction shirt it will affliction always sell well. within the first two days of listing it yeah. if you list it for the right price so if we pay five dollars for it, we'll yeah. make our money back like within a day of listing it. It's crazy. Um, Betsy, if you haven't got any emails from us about the mentoring program and you signed up, uh, check the PayPal email that you paid with. So you may be using a different email on your day in your daily life, but it all emails are sent to the PayPal email that you paid with. And then if you want to change it, we can change it for you. But. And then someone keeps asking about drop shipping. I don't know if it's the same person, but I've seen um, a couple oh of comments about it. Says, it. Is drop shipping a cult? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 783 Whoa. people watching. Two, That's so many people. Only 206 thumbs ups. Guys, hit the thumbs up button for us. Yeah. That's a lot of people. That's awesome. Whoa. I think everybody knows that we're not really into, into drop shipping. Um, I was actually talking talking about this the other day. It's not that we hate drop shippers. It's not that we hate drop shipping. No. It's more that I think 90% of drop shippers out there are doing it the wrong way. Um, and a lot of people have been burnt with like drop shipping sales courses and stuff that they've bought. And it's just a lot of it is a scam, unfortunately. 10% of people are doing it great and doing a really good job. Yeah. It's just doing it the right way. Yeah, you, you just know? gotta do it the right way. Yeah. Just gotta and we don't want it and we don't, don't want do it. it and don't want it well. Don't want it. Don't want it. Is Ben your brother? Yes, he is. He's my older sister. <laughs> What's your pronoun? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Um, missing the basher for you guys. Hi. Huh? Oh, that's exciting. I need a rose for you. <laughs> right? Isn't that, isn't that a basher <laughs> thing? So. Do they still do oh that? Oh my God. The only time I ever watch that show is to laugh and make fun of them. Primo says from Morocco, you need some Moroccan stuff. I love Whoa. Moroccan. That stuff, home Moroccan decor. oil. Send us some of that. Like Whenever, oh my God, yes. When I was in high school, my room was Moroccan themed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I knew you in high school. We were kind of friends, but not really. <laughs> we were kind of, we were friends for like six months. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? Uh, yeah, what's your pronoun? <laughs> and then look, Crystal asked, do you guys drop 5% for items in carts? So sometimes eBay sends like a email and says, these buyers have their, have your item in the carts. Like drop, make the sale. Make the sale. Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea to do it. Sometimes it works. I want to know the conversion rate from yeah. people doing that. Yeah. Like, is it working? What's the conversion rate? Cause they have those numbers. eBay does. Yeah. Came across your channel yesterday. Wow. wow. That's awesome. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Very cool. Glad you like the channel. Cassie, thank you for the $4.99. Can't wait for mentoring. A lot of people that are going to be in mentoring wow. in the chat. That's so cool. So cool. Um, my husband and currently deployed. We both watched the videos and have access just for me. Sold a $1 Monopoly game for $100. Yeah. Wow. No, absolutely not. Definitely send your husband. Um, you're going to get a username and a password. Please give it to your husband and let him watch the videos as well. We're happy to do couples. Mm -hmm. The only thing we can't do is like if you have an eBay store and your brother has an eBay store, can't that's do that. two, you have to two be separate things. Same household yeah. and a combined couple. The thrift store I go to has a lot of Tommy Bahama and Lacoste short sleeve shirts for $8 each. Is it worth it to buy? Um, I would say no for $8 each. Um, you were, you really want those under mm -hmm. five. And with Tommy Bahama and Lacoste, it's a very saturated market. So there's only certain ones that sell for enough money, in our opinion. Yeah. Now, listen, a, a regular like Tommy Bahama silk shirt, you can get $15 for roughly every day, like just a basic one. Um, so if you can pick them up for like a dollar and you don't have overhead and employees and stuff, it can be worth it. Yeah. Um, but we don't like those low priced items really. So with a Tommy Bahama, the ones that have the embroidery on the back, those are really good. Um, with Lacoste, the bigger sizes, the vintage ones, the ones that have like stripes and stuff on them, those do better for us. And then again, also 
also um, lotting them up and selling them in packs of three or five. And we also realize that when it comes to our buyers, the oh my gosh, nice. <laughs> she paid me five dollars. Nice. That was I'll like even dab for that. <laughs> that was a limp dab. Too. Oh my gosh. But, but yeah, how do I refund? That? I don't. <laughs> can, you, can you refund Super Chat? We have more issues <laughs> from buyers for items under twenty dollars <laughs> than any other type of an item. Like we always would have issues with low price oh, yeah. items and those types yeah. of buyers than yeah. with the more expensive mm -hmm. stuff. So we realized what's really worth our time. Like it's cheaper item, and we're dealing with people who are right. far less satisfied, more complaints, they want something for free. We felt like a lot of the people were trying to scam us on like the low price items. <laughs> so we were like, let's just get better stuff. Suburban fun. Beard says Ryan needs to hashtag beard up. Oh my I God, what? I, I can't hide this. Come on, that's the money no. maker. <laughs> Ryan doesn't grow a beard. I don't like beards on me. It's fine if you have one. Derek wants to know if you've ever called Ben your Padawan. No, my young Padawan. Uh, I saw, what was this question? Oh, there, uh, Butler's Connection. Pat Aloha is on fire right now. Funny story with Pat Aloha. Um, I saw someone post on Instagram one time, look at this fake Patagonia. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> it, was it was a Pat Aloha Hawaiian shirt. And I was like, dude, that is Patagonia. That's the Hawaiian, the Hawaiian line of Patagonia stuff. They didn't just Google that? So if you see, well, I mean, if you've never seen it before and you're just like in a thrift store or something, oh. you see Pat Aloha, it's the same. Because Patagonia is faked all the time. I see fake fake Patagonia stuff all the time. Or like rip off brands of it. Yeah, of the, um, true. So they probably was like, Pat Aloha, look at this fake. Just like a 3D album, just fake. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, is um, the mentor class sold out? It is, yeah. It sold out really fast, guys, sorry. Um, the next round is gonna be in May. So if you missed this past round, we are going to do another one probably like mid-May. Um, yeah. And it will sell out the first day. So yeah. just forewarning. <laughs> Favorite kind of tacos? Oh, fish tacos. Yeah, Texas. Fish tacos too. Uh, breakfast burrito. Nice. Not a taco. You're a taco. <laughs> <laughs> You're a taco. Um, Anthony, you missed my question. You're in the mentoring group. We will absolutely, you'll, we'll answer your question. I promise. <laughs> Sorry you missed it. It goes really fast, guys. The chat. The chat. There's a lot of people, so yeah, I just want to. 816. 816. Wow, guys. You guys if we rock. Miss your questions. We are so sorry. Leave them in the comments below, and we will try to get to all of them. But remember, there are a lot of people in the chat. We only read about 10% of the comments because the chat goes so fast. So yeah. we're sorry, but we are trying. We didn't even used to do live shows, and now we do live shows. So we've come a long way. You know, Ryan, keep your you sit come a long up way. Straight. I'm trying. It's the <laughs> Pikachu. Can I move Pika? it? No. Oh, God. Great. She gone. Awesome. Oh, that worked. Yeah. I Sorry guys, the Pikachu was getting in the way of the light. Take her down. So now it's gone. Drew Conway. It's gonna throw Drew. that away. <laughs> Drew, life certainties, death taxes, and pinata corn. Pinata <laughs> corn. Oh, this yes. week. This it's week. Fine. Your shoulder feels better. Drew. Yep. I, I worked out today. My shoulder's fine. Look at this action. Well. I'm going to laugh when you hurt your shoulder again. Do it. I'm going to laugh when unicorn guts spill on my face. I'm going to wow. eat all the guts. <laughs> wow. A few people have been saying to like make a video of shipping hats. Okay. We can. We, we need can to do, do a fully updated shipping video anyway because rates have changed and stuff. So I promise you guys, we, I promise you a new photography video soon and a new shipping video soon because we need to update those for 2019. So, and Callie will definitely help with that. And Ben can help with the photography stuff. I don't think the word trying is negative. I like to think whenever you're trying something new, that's a positive thing. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Kat, if you want to send me the Post Malone pop, I would love you forever. <gasps> but definitely buy it for Callie and send me. Oh yeah. My God. Just I you can pre-order it. I guarantee <laughs> you like? that those sell out immediately. There's also Golden Girls ones Post and Malone. I want those. Can you pre-order? Where's my phone? I want to look so. it up. Ugh. Whoa. 71 we're almost at 72,000 subscribers that's Whoa. crazy it's been going fast we've been getting over 200 a day that is a good question though how crazy. does it feel it feels awesome 72,000 people that want to watch it is crazy us? yeah because i've watched the entire journey too and just watching it grow and grow and grow it's super exciting and it I, is exciting. I feel so special to be included Aww. and you're in the first video ever i know isn't that the first crazy? video yeah and you weren't even working for us no though. i wasn't even doing the shipping no just when, like, when we would go away. Oh, that was a long, yeah. that was a long time ago. Yeah. Crap. 
Jeffrey, thank you for the five dollar. Which sells better, Tommy Hilfiger or Tommy Bahama? Totally uh, depends on the item. So, yeah. like a vintage Tommy Hilfiger item is going to sell much better <clears throat> if it's the right kind of item, like a big spell out or a color block or something. That's going to sell for more money, um, or like a jacket or that. Uh, but like a nice embroidered Tommy Bahama, hundred percent silk shirt, that might go for 50, 60 bucks. So yeah. So we will say though, whenever we're at the thrift store, Tommy Bahama because they know the brand, it's always for the most part for it's too anyway. expensive yeah. or there's like a stain on it or when they punch the whole the tag through it the hole's too big so i would say we probably only buy two percent of tommy bahama that we see yeah and for a tommy hill figure i would say less. maybe even less like one <laughs> percent of what we see yeah. i think we'll go through like a hundred tommy hill figure shirts before we'll even buy one, one. yeah I mean, it's that bad actually maybe five percent of tommy bahama We'll buy. We'll buy. Maybe bigger, 5%. bigger sizes and Tommy Bahama sell better yeah. for us as well. Yeah. Um, Robert Decker, thank you for the two dollars. Appreciate that. Um, how long has this been live? We've been live for thirty-five minutes now, and we'll Started keep going eight, until, until nine. nine. Yeah. Eight hundred and twenty-eight people watching. Oh, so many. Crazy. Bye, Eric. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks. thanks for Eric's the always two dollars as well. Yeah. yeah. Wow, 828. Guys, please hit the thumbs Whoa. up button. That's awesome. Very cool. Thank you guys so much. We'll have some other really good videos coming out as well. Um, if you guys didn't see this past weekend, we went down to um, like South Florida area for a friend's wedding and we thrifted down there and then we That's went fun. to a flea market down there, vlogged the whole thing. So I'm working on it. It's a really long video. So I'm working oh, on editing that. Oh, true. But I know sometimes you guys like those like 30 minute episodes. So <laughs> I like them. Oh, uh, Eric said, so just joking. He's staying. He's still here. Nice. Hey. I recognize his name because he's oh. always in our chats. Nice. Yeah. Linda, thank you so much for the five dollars. My mom's a Linda. That. Linda. It's a good, strong name. Linda. Linda powerful Linda. woman name. Swap shop. Uh, yes, we went to the swap shop. Yeah, Patagonia is awesome. We love Patagonia. Oh, for sure. For sure. A little label. North Face. Absolutely. Although the North Face women's stuff. Um, if it's just like a shirt or a tank, we don't buy any of that. Yeah. You still want to look up comps on North Face. Garage sales or thrift stores? Ooh. Debbie's much better profit Linda margin too. from or ROI, right? From garage sales. In ROI. our area, for sure, garage sales. But yeah, I think does. for a lot of people, thrift stores are good because um, they're not able, they don't have garage sales year round like mm. us. We're lucky in Florida to have garage sales year round. Year round. Yeah. Because it doesn't think? snow here. Debbie D. Debbie! Her, mom, her mama name, Linda, too. Oh, wow. Nice. Have you guys ever sold auto parts? We sure. have. One of the best radios. categories. Car radios are good, but auto parts in general, like one of the best categories to be in. Um, they sell really great. A lot of car dealerships and repair shops buy them all the time. Um, and even people like, it was a joke you took. <laughs> <laughs> Delicia Delicia Coo instead of Pikachu. Uh, oh, because of the uh, uh, Eric. Silly Eric. Yeah, car I can't wait to then. see Detective Pikachu. When does that With come out? Ryan Reynolds. I yes. think that comes out soon. What? It Ooh. must come out soon. And apparently, the, the new Ryan Marvel Reynolds movie. Where he plays. He plays Pikachu. He is Pikachu. Yeah, he voices okay, Pikachu. Oh, wait, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure they're like graphic novels or comic books or whichever one of those yeah. specifically it is. And he has that voice, like a deep man voice in Man's the voice. graphic novels. So, I think. I think. I don't um, know. Woman's clothing on eBay, a broken market. I don't think so at all. No, no, women's clothing does well on eBay. It's just selling the right type of clothing, men's or women's. It's really just about selling mm -hmm. the right type of clothing. And remember that clothing in general as a market on eBay, on Poshmark, whatever, unless it's a very high-end brand, it's a long tail item. Some items may take 30 to 60 days to sell. Some items may take a year to sell. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of people get into this business trying to flip clothing and shoes and they think I'm going to spend $500 and make $5,000 in a week. And that's just not the way that it is. One, you need to have some sort of a budget to continue to buy stuff and continue to list stuff mm -hmm. and build your store up. You know, if we could list a thousand things and all thousand things sell in a week, that would be awesome. But that's just not the way it is. You have to keep listing and keep adjusting your prices to get things to sell. Right, 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 right. Borderline hoarderish. That's a that's a cool name. Five dollars. Kelly is my favorite. Thanks. Been watching for a while. Always lurking. Thanks for all the good nuggets. Love unicorns and Dragon Ball Z too. Yes. yes. That's awesome. That's our people. Libby Star says, "What can you tell me about Kuji clothing?" Um, the sweaters are worth the most money, especially wore them. the colorful ones. R.I.P. Biggie. 
any cutie with a booty. Baza <laughs> Kuji. <laughs> That's right. Oh um, my God. <laughs> the the jeans do okay. Usually they sell under thirty dollars, so I would say be careful with that. Um, the shirts, like the tops and clothing, um, the bigger the better. Yeah. And the more embroidery, the better. Yeah. The colors. Colors. Yeah. Is the girl with the bandana your sister? Yes, Callie's my sister. I'm just gonna start telling people that we are. Yeah, just that. say that from I now mean, on. We basically are now. <laughs> Um, when are we going to Austin? Yeah. in the chat. What up, boy? If we, I'm a bona fide hustler. If we, <laughs> so good. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> if we didn't go, if, if we weren't at a friend's, whoa. There's a fly. fly. I haven't seen fly? a fly in our house. I really. just stared at the light. <laughs> um, <laughs> Look into the light. Chris, if we weren't at a friend's wedding, we're actually going to come out to Austin this past weekend because Allie's cousin was there. We were going to go yeah. meet up. Um, but Let's we're buy thinking. tickets and go to Austin. I think I talked to Tony today. Um, we're thinking Tony. like May. As soon as the water warms up a little bit and we can get out on the boat, that's when we'll come out. So mm. get the weather, get the weather warming up there. Tom five. Sawyer. Tom Sawyer, thanks for the two dollars. Y'all should check out Ruby Lane for vintage selling. Ruby Lane. That sounds for Ruby Lane. Never heard of it. Is it an app or like a website or whatever? No idea. It just sounds familiar. Where is that, Tom? Favorite drinks. Ooh, like alcoholic or regular? Let's say uh, adult beverages. Oh, yes. Adult oh. beverages. A dirty martini. Mine Extra would be dirty. an Oban, Oban whiskey straight. Mm. Mm, beer in Alcoholics a can. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like a good James Bond martini. <laughs> beer in a can. Beer in a can. I also like Bloody Marys. Ben? Ryan thinks I'm gross. Malibu? Nice. Yeah. I enjoy a mimosa, <laughs> yeah. but with, you know, pass on the juice. <laughs> uh, you just yeah. splash that flavored Mio stuff in it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, man. The puppy, hey, she's sleeping right now. We're going to bring her out five minutes before the show ends. So this is where my cat just jumped up and started rubbing his face on you guys. Aww. Oh, their cat loves us. Callie got new cats. Callie loves her cats. I got two new kitties. And named I one Posty. Scratches on me from them. Oh my gosh. Callie's allergic to cats. <laughs> but they're maybe adorable. Two. <laughs> we went in for oh one gosh. and Guts. we couldn't separate them. They went Love through it. foster system <laughs> yeah. together. Oh, if we go to cool. Austin, we will do a meetup. Yeah, for sure. We did one last time. We'll do it again. And Callie's we, a cat rescuer. Yeah. If we go to Austin, we'll either drive out there and do like another road trip type thing, or we'll just fly and then thrift around there and maybe ship some stuff back here because texas is such a good place to pick and i can't like i Not can't let bonafide get all the deals right yeah i know he gets a really good it's like he <laughs> gets awesome stuff also callie if people want to send you cat presents they should send cat presents in the mail oh because a lot of people don't know what to send you as a gift but cat cat gifts cat bandanas Meow. <laughs> That's a good question from Remy. As an eBay Remy. store, do you think branding your eBay store is important, whether with tags or special special packaging or a logo? I can't talk tonight. Just a logo. Logo and special. I can't say those words. Definitely a logo <laughs> and a banner. Yeah. So important. Have that. And make sure you're doing it like a decent size and it's not yeah. a giant picture. You know? Like... Sell quick. Sell, sell quick, ship quick in the chat too. Oh, hey. Yeah, so, we can talk and back first. And then I think that it's important with your eBay store, if you're going to be niche specific, then brand it around that niche. So if I'm only going to sell pet supplies, then call it, you know, Ryan's Pet Supplies as the name of my store. But if you're not going to be category specific, don't, um, don't name your store something that is like, we sell jeans. And then, you know, you're selling everything else and jeans. Hmm. So be be careful about getting too narrow with what you call your store. Um, ours, our, the one that we share is called the Hip Lion, which is very yeah, generic. rename it to Air Fryers Plus. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you don't want to get too category specific. And I think that one thing that I see often, which is which is strange that I see it so often, is people that are thrifting stuff will name their stores like thrifted goods mm. or something like that. I don't think that's a good way to go. I think you can call it something else that's more appealing. A lot of people don't necessarily want to know that their used item came from a thrift store when they're buying something online. Yeah. Doesn't mean that you know it's a bad thing. We love we yeah. most of our most but of our know, own clothes. People have their but, weird yeah. Yeah. There is a Ryan's Pet Supplies. I don't doubt it. I'm oh sure. my gosh, it's so funny. I Maybe drink, it's mine. I drink Maybe a lot is. of liquid. I'll be right back. That's oh my really gosh, what we Allie's do. Leaving. We just go into all these thrift stores <clears throat> to make videos, but what we do on the side. All right. 
brother, life. brother and sister, uh, bring it in real uh, close. Hey guys. Um, hey Ben, do you want to come brother, join the chat? Ryan. You uh, guys want to see some triplets? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna turn Allie into Ben real quick. Ready? Three. Set. Two. Ben. It didn't work. <laughs> come on, play along. Ben with his kind of Keith Haring shirt, kind of. Yeah. We do all look similar, don't we? Hi, we do. We look absolutely like family. Hey, we got a five dollars super chat. Well, we chat. are actually uh, family. But... Well, I guess that doesn't make sense. Yeah, right? makes but sense. Callie, I think I look more like Callie than I do Ben. Maybe. We're all adopted. Mailman, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi from Sarasota. I've been watching. Oh, Sarasota neighbor. I've been watching your videos since last year and have sold over ten thousand dollars since May on eBay and Poshmark. Thank you nice. so much. That's awesome. Nice. Sarasota too, taking all the good inventory down there. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. Good for you. That's very good. Um, there's a lot of store on Etsy with flea in the name. Yeah, I mean, I think you got to be careful about what you call your store. I think it's better to go generic than to go category specific. Again, unless you're diving deep into like something specific like pet supplies. Winnie um, says, Callie, puedes dar más tips de fotografías, please? What does that mean? I think she wants tips for taking photos. <laughs> Translation mm. Point <laughs> and shoot. Nice. Great tips. We'll make yeah. him a video. We will make a video. Who has Stay more tuned. clothes, Ben or Ryan? <laughs> definitely me. Yeah, definitely you. <laughs> Way too many clothes. I need to do a purge soon, actually. I have so many clothes that I'm turning one of the like the, the guest room closet into my um, like excess clothing, and then this one will be my regular clothing. Oh, look, Ben's there. Yeah, you can, you can no, take No, I'll be moderator now. No, you can. <laughs> you go ahead. He was keeping the seat warm Ellie's for back. Next. How was your bathroom? Now I'm back. I drank a lot Tell of Tell us all about it. Oh, it was fantastic. Oh, nice. Also, someone wants to know about your straw. My straw? <laughs> it's a metal straw. That's so random. <laughs> it's metal straw because it's better for the environment. It's true. Ding, ding. And then these are so you can chew your metal straw, basically. <laughs> nice. Silicone. Ah, yeah, yeah. So funny. Still 817 people watching. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys, in our craziness. We appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't yet. And uh, Brian Wiegand, thank you for the $2. Don't name your store Dumpster Treasures. Yeah, I would not suggest naming your store. <laughs> Dump Unless you like sell dumpsters, then I guess go for it. Lori asks, how did your Western Wear sell? Incredibly well. Yeah, we sold all of it. Well, for the most part. <laughs> we, I mean, we, we, saw, we saved a lot. Of, it was okay. A bit for ourselves. We sold like 80%. We wholesaled on like 80% of it and kept maybe 20% yeah. of it for ourselves. And that's selling slowly. Yeah, some people reached out to us and they're like, we have this awesome idea and so we yeah. were like yeah all right cool this is perfect n64 cell no i've been like hoarding n64s i just have like a pile of them and all what? these games i just i have a hard time letting go of it <laughs> we have a lot of games well, the, Ryan needs on to the price goes up right yeah i have to test the games exactly yeah. and the systems all and the controllers test how well they yeah. can collect dust yeah let me have my n64 let me have my n64s leave ryan alone yeah oh um, wheeling and dealing with wheelie five, Ryan, can you do a video on optimizing your eBay listings? Absolutely. I get that request often. Um, I've had, in you fact, just say no, no, <laughs> um, eBay, um, what's it? Doug, Doug from eBay actually reached out to me last week. Snoop Dougie. Snoop Dougie, Doug. Snoop Dougie. Um, he reached out to me last week and asked if I could like maybe come on their podcast and talk about eBay SEO. So I, maybe I'll do a video on how to SEO your listings to get more exposure. Yeah, but like how many people listen to their podcast and how many people are in our live chat? Oh, that's why I said maybe I'll make a video and put it on our channel. Oh. <laughs> but the, the eBay podcast has actually been so, really good. They've no, got some really good information on them. eBay is trying so hard to get yeah. as much information out to their sellers to make their stores the best that they can be. They're actually trying. Like, yeah. I give them kudos for that. Like, mm -hmm. We're not drinking the eBay Kool-Aid. We we have complaints like there's a lot of things we would love eBay to do like that a hub, lot of things that hub you know that they've promised at yeah. eBay open last year and it's getting close to eBay open this year but maybe mm. maybe it'll come this year yeah. still but at least eBay is changing things and they're trying yeah. you know you gotta respect them for that or appreciate that at least you know what I mean yeah. Paula Smith says, thanks for mentioning Bargain Barons. I've been binge watching them since then. Awesome. Go leave a comment on one of their videos that we sent you there. They'll love that. I haven't watched most of their recent videos, but 
Um, I will say like for, if you're into like garage sailing videos and antiques and stuff, they're probably the best channel on YouTube and they have very, for what they do, they have very few subscribers. Um, and they're like fearless. The dude wears a GoPro on his chest when he goes to garage sales. So. And then this is a good question <laughs> from Inside Outlet. Ah, is it better to cancel your listings before it relists automatically and then list similar item? Like, should you just let it auto real? Well, I mean, good till canceled now is the thing. So yeah. if you, now that's the way it is. I think that that is a way to increase sales on items that have been listed for a while. Um, we have a company that we worked with called Datamine, and they have a program that automatically does that for you. It'll end items and, and then relist them later. I did a video on it um, talking oh, about, recent. yeah, it's, it's yeah. the video where I was talking about the new eBay updates for 2019. Um, there's a link in that video where you can go and see that. But if you don't want to do use like a service like that to do it, I do think it's a good way to do it, to end your your old items. I would say anything that you've had listed for 60 days or more, doing that, ending mm -hmm. it, and then creating a brand new listing, I do think it does help, yes. Are we going to eBay open? I'm not sure yet. Yeah, We're you're still deciding. Deciding. Oh, I'm still getting 30 a list option. Yeah, it hasn't changed over just yet. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know when it's going to change over. Did we start small? Very there's, small. There's a couple of so new people small. in the chat asking how you started. We started oh. with two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars going to garage sales, and we rolled. We've never taken on debt. We've never taken on any loans. We've never, I don't know how to say that. We're not. We're not. We have zero debt as a company. Um, we've built. We've always rolled our profits over in, and now we were able to pay ourselves and. Cali and Ben and warehouse and all that stuff. So yeah, but we literally started with $200 going out to garage sales. Uh, name of our printer for the labels. It's the Rolo, Rolo printer. There's links to all of the supplies that we use in all of our YouTube videos. You'll see it says like Amazon supply link or something. And then Hustle Shark asks for large heavy items. Do you charge the shipping or do you offer free shipping and work it into the price? We work it into the price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and we do like an average cost analysis on our larger stuff. So let's say we have 50 air fryers, because we, mm -hmm. we do, <laughs> uh, or something like that. We'll say, you know, it costs us $30 to ship that item to California. It costs us $10 to ship it in Florida. Um, so on average, it's costing us like 20 bucks to ship that item. So we'll say across the board for these air fryers, it's going to cost us on average about 20 bucks. And that's the number that we work into our price to account for shipping. So, yeah. And somebody else asked if we wash the clothes before we sell them. We always wash what needs to be washed. Yes. And if it has, you know, a dry clean tag on it, if it's new, if it doesn't smell at all and you can tell it's already clean, we don't wash we those. Don't wash that. Yeah. Uh, were we born in Florida? I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and I've lived in Long Island. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. I was born in Durban, South Africa. I was born in Chicago, Illinois. So no, none nice. of us were born here. <laughs> and then what's our favorite Funko Pop? Ooh. Post Malone and Golden Girls. Oh my gosh, of all my Funkos. I, don't, I mean, I love That's all my Dragon Ball Z question. Pops and some of them have little tiny Pops with them. I, like you know tinies. what? I can actually answer that. It's not like the most expensive Pop or anything, but I love my Braveheart. Mel That's Gibson so funny. Pop. Like the so, King Kai Pop has a little bubbles. If you had Patrick. Yeah, if I had Patrick, <laughs> you like the King Kai one? Well, he has a little bubbles. It's really cute. And Yumcha has the little, what's his, the cat. Oh. What's the cat's name? I, I cannot remember off the top of my head. But they have that like tiny cute. little pops with the big pops. What about the Boo one? That's and Tien cool. has Boo from Chats. Monsters, Inc. What's his name? Boo from Dragon Ball Z. No. Casey, <laughs> yeah. Casey asked, how did you meet Callie? Um, Callie's my sister. <laughs> Probably my related? favorite pop is the fanciest one. It was a gift. It's the golden freezer with the red awesome eyes. <laughs> We're gonna so Our confuse parents people. Introduced us. Guys, my sister. I came out first. This is my oh sister-in-law. Daniel uh. says, "Do you rebox the appliances?" No. Uh, so that's a question well, we get all the today. time. Yeah. Yeah, because the box. Was but normally, no. Right. Most of the boxes have a little bit of damage on them already mm -hmm. and we put in the listing there it is this will be shipped as Correct. is in this box if you're selling a brand new item in the brand new box i would not suggest shipping it in the original box the customer is not going to want that the only reason we ship that way is because a lot of the items we get have shelfware 
or like terror or something on the box or like the box is a bit messed up. It's a bit damaged. The item inside is perfect, but the box is a little bit damaged. So that's the only time that we will ship in the original box. The other thing you have to be aware of is that some um, like some FedEx locations, some post offices will not take an item that is in the original box. So you have to put it in another box. So you want to make sure the way that you're shipping. And then if you are going to ship it in the original box, put that in your description so that when the customer gets it, they're not like, why did you ship it like this? Doggo time. Happy oh time. my gosh, it's 8.55 already? Oh. Wow, that went oh, fast. Look at how cute But she we still have 825 so people watching. Mochi's really tired, guys, because we went we went, uh, <laughs> we went to oh, South Florida to her friend's what? wedding, <laughs> and she stayed at Allie's grandparents' house over the weekend. they have a doggy door and a backyard. She was chasing, chasing squirrels all weekend. And they have, Lizards. like, bird feeders out there. Oh, she's so and tired. Lots of plants. She has special delivery. Oh, Bulldog. Oh. Oh, look, Mama. Okay. She got a bath today. Look at that flat, flat face. She's so tired. Oh, I know, girl. I know. Okay. She got a bath today, too. Here, look at the camera. Here, Mama, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am a bow. Oh, Ben's going to come into the chat. Ah, ben coming for the last five minutes? Very cool. Let's make more space. Everybody. Super blurry. I broke the camera. There we go. Everybody, make sure to hit Squeeze. the thumbs up button for us if you can. Oh, we got a nine ninety nine super chat. In like who? Do we use any software subscriptions between eBay and Amazon to help with sourcing, listing inventory, and product research? Any other platforms? <laughs> eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark that you use? Um, we do sell local, so we use like OfferUp, like a like a Craigslist um, software. We use Keepa. We use Camel, Camel, Camel. Um, <laughs> you know that face. So sleepy. Oh my god! She's so tired. I but those know. those are about it. We don't use like um, we don't use like online arbitrage softwares really at all. We just we is. just do it the old school way, looking for stuff. Oh, She's so tired. So sleepy. Yes, time change. We didn't even realize there was a time change. Yeah. Got up so late. <laughs> I felt terrible. Just me, so. Kathy. You should definitely get a French bulldog. They're the best. Literally the best. The best. Look at it. Like, what other dog? Bye, mommies. Is this? Bye, jeans. Bye, jeans. <laughs> Guys, what do we have? Three minutes left? Let's do this. As always, let Jeans's us know, sunnies. like, let us know some of your favorite flips. And we could talk about that. I don't have any sunglasses over here. It's a good oh. bull. I will be making another what sold on eBay video fairly sold soon because we haven't done one of those in a couple weeks um, and we've sold some really good stuff lately so we will definitely make another one of those. <laughs> no, gee, oh my gosh. What time do we go to sleep? Uh, I'd say around 12-ish. Yeah. Usually. I've been shooting for 11 these days. You've been waking yeah. up earlier too. What is sleep? Bye Wendy. <laughs> what is sleep? I like English Bulldogs because of the rolls, but look at these I rolls. I know. That's not a roll. Well, that's because English Bulldogs are real Bulldogs. This is a real, look at that. <laughs> Tell me that's not a Bulldog. She fake. <laughs> she fake. I love English Bulldogs too. I know. But Frenchies don't have as many problems. Yeah. yeah, they live a little bit longer too, which is yeah. a bonus. Bonus. Whoa, so many amazing sales. Yeah, what'd you see? It's big Jeff's um, birthday. The Happy birthday. Crap machine. See, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking it was a craps machine. CPAP. And I was like, oh. what? A CPAP machine. It's for breathing. Spencer on Craigslist. Ryan needs that. You can't sell them on oh. eBay. Spencer Sage sold his personal vintage Nirvana silver tea that he had how much? since high school. I don't know. How much did you sell for? Dang. Dang. Panasonic. I'm, I'm assuming that's probably a VCR combo, VCR DVD combo. DMR E80H. Bought new for $50, sold for $500. Dang. It's a good Whoa. flip. College Picker says anytime you find a VCR with an HDMI port on the back, you should That's pick it up. That's bigger money. Yep. Any any like old school mixed with um, new school, like HDMI mixed with old VCR, that's always bigger money. Whoa, bought two knickknacks for $2 and sold Ooh, for 140 What knickknacks? <laughs> oh, Tell that's us. interesting. <laughs> Big Bugs built a Bitcoin miner for $800 and sold it for $2,500. Whoa. What's that Very mean? Cool. Like Someone a, has to explain that to Bitcoin me. Also. Miner. We don't uh, have that's, time that's for that. for go watch that's Chris Dunn's video. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Happy birthday, Big Drift. Yes, Big Drift Thrift. Have a very happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thanks for Woo! everything you've done for us and yeah. sending me a cool t shirt. What's my favorite tattoo? 
I like this one. The combination oh. of all of them. Right down here, there's a yellow, little yellow submarine. Yeah. That's uh -huh. probably my favorite one. I only have the two, so it would be easy for me to pick between the two, you'd think, but I love both my tats. I'm going to get a bulldog tat, though, and that might be my new favorite. Yeah, that will. Look at it. Stop it. <laughs> that thick Hold tongue. on. Don't. <laughs> no, Licky. Come on with your slow, long legs. Two Cs. Oh, there it is. <laughs> found a Robert Graham limited wow. edition for $7.99. Wow. Very good. I don't think I've ever found Robert Graham. Really? Really? Like reasonably priced. So good. Oh. Anyway. I I'll, even even like if you find it under 15 bucks, I would say it's still usually. I've worth never it. found it at the thrift store. Yeah, uh, I've seen it before. We used Only to find Robert store. Graham, but there's too many resellers in our area now, so we True. we're too late to the show, probably. Ooh. I wonder why. Thanks, friends. I don't know. <laughs> People just want that extra cash. Men's tidy whitey underwear, one dollar into forty. Because it was you probably stay selling vintage, underwear like Hanes. Yeah. Vintage, vintage underwear is a thing. Yeah, I saw <laughs> that. I saw their post. The Hanes single stitch? or Fruit of the Loom vintage <laughs> <Single stitch> underwear. <laughs> underwear. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that's so funny. That's Green Star's best underwear. <laughs> we should clone this dog. I know she's amazing. She's the best dogs. Look at the tongue. <laughs> the tongue life. We should do a show with our baby and childhood pictures. That would be funny. <gasps> oh, yeah. I like that. My mom has a ton of. Like child pics. Sorry, can you keep it down, Mushy? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, all right. I think we're about done. 901. Any more questions, guys, before we go? Thank Quick, you all go. for hanging out and watching. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted when a video is coming out. We need to do that so that I can play it at the end of all of our videos. Seriously. Yeah, so let's, let's just get a bunch of you sound in the bites. center, like a black screen, and then I can put like the subscribe and the videos on the side. Wait, make her have to talk about it. Yeah. I'll do it like crafts. five different accents. I know. I was so like, this week I'm going to make an Alley Crafts video. And then you did. There's no way. Dog has sleep no apnea. Way. She needs that CPAP. I know. Oh, okay. She does. Oh my gosh, she needs to sleep in an oxygen chamber. Dude. Casey Thanks loves her watching. glasses. Or is it Casey or Cassie? Uh, all right. I think go. it's Cassie. She was at the meetup with Thanks, the, the children's. Well, let me answer this last question really quick. How do you handle a return to return to sender package? Um, reach out to the buyer, see if they put in the wrong address, and if they did, um, charge right. them for shipping and then send it to the right address. That's what I would do. But reach out to the buyer on eBay, tell them the package was returned, and ask them for the correct address. There's little mochi hairs flying around now everywhere. Yeah. Mm. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thanks Thank so, you guys much so much for watching. watching. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. If you have any questions we didn't answer, leave them after the video posts, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye. Bye.